Hey everybody, my name is Shauna and welcome to my Shauna Moana channel. Today is Tuesday, you know what that means, Tuesdays and Fridays are my coin days. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, my name is Shauna and I was born with fetal alcohol syndrome. I make videos twice a week for fun on Tuesdays and Fridays and I was born with fetal alcohol syndrome. That is known as FAS or FASD, which is fetal alcohol spectrum disorders. It is something that is very understudied. There is no cure or no treatment. I talk about my story every now and then just to remind you guys why I am the way I am and to spread a little bit of awareness because not a lot of people know about fetal alcohol syndrome. And yeah, my topics are pretty much random. I can talk about what's happening in the world, what's happening in my life, give you guys updates, do little movie reviews, show and tells. It's pretty much random. I do not get paid for anything. I don't edit any of my videos. This is just a hobby of mine. YouTube is something that I do for fun and I think everybody who has a YouTube channel has every right to use it however way they want. At the end of the day, people are always going to talk. So you know what, just ignore them. As long as you're happy with yourself and you're happy with your life, that's all. That's like the only thing that matters. Okay, enough of that. I just wanna thank everybody for taking time of the day to watch or listen, and thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. The number may go up or down, because right now I have 225 subscribers. For some reason, my last video that I uploaded on Friday has over 600 views. I don't know why. I didn't, I didn't do anything special, but thank you. <laughs> I only have two topics, and then I have an update that I want to share with you guys. The polar vortex is flowing backwards if you're into meteorology. I'm into a lot of different topics. <laughs> By the way, before I get started, sometimes I do have like a little bit of a speech delay. That is a part of having FAS. That is something embarrassing, and there's no cure for it, like I said, but... This is just who I am. I'm just trying to be real here. Like, I get embarrassed when I do that, stuttering, trying to get my words out. It sucks, but that's just what I have to live with. Polar Vort, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but this is from Google, okay? I'm just going to read the highlighted part. This is caused by sudden stratif stratospheric, I hope I said that right, warming. I'll just call it SSW, when the temperatures in the stratosphere climb by as much as 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 50 degrees Celsius in the space of a couple of days. So apparently the polar vortex is flowing backwards. I don't know if it's still doing that, but it could last for days, weeks, or months. I don't, I'm, I'm not really quite sure. I'm not really that into meteorology. The only thing I like is tornadoes. <laughs> I would love to go on a storm chase one day, be like in the movie Twister. Okay, so, that's the first topic, and this is the second topic. I think this video is going to be really short. <sighs> Toronto rejects Sankofa Square. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, and chooses Gord Downey Square for Young and Dundas. This is from Blog TO. Look, I have been to Toronto five times last year. I have been to Toronto many times, but five times last year, unfortunately, I cannot go for a visit this year, and I have an uh, unpopular opinion. Some people love the new name, some people don't like it. That's totally up to you. That's perfectly fine. For me, I prefer Young and Dundas Square because that is what I'm used to. I have been to Toronto so many times, I'm used to calling it Young and Dundas Square. I'm not going, I'm not going to call it a new name just because Toronto wants it, or some people want it. Just, that's my opinion. I I am still going to call it Young and, Dundas, Young and Dundas Square. That's kind of like my favorite part of Toronto, but I love Toronto. I know a lot of people say, it's so expensive, it's overcrowded. Um, what else do they say? Oh, I hate Toronto because of the traffic. Um, what else do they say? Just all these negative dances. Like, I love Toronto because there's always something to do. There's always something going on. 
And the funny thing about me is like, I love being in the big city, but when people try to approach me, I'm like, oh God, please don't, please don't talk to me. <laughs> like, I just want to enjoy the sightseeing and going to the museums, the center island, hanging out by the CN Tower. Just, I love Toronto. I love Toronto so much. And I'm so sad that I can't go to Toronto this year, but that is because I'm going somewhere very exciting. Some people may say, oh, that's boring. Why would you want to go there? <laughs> Here's the thing. Okay. Um, the update for the summer. Just a sec, guys. Just a sec. Summer 2024 update. So I have an update for what I'm doing this summer. I would normally be recording twice a week, but this time I'm probably not going to be on YouTube for a couple of months. I don't know if I should say that. A couple weeks. I don't know. <laughs> I could get in trouble for telling you guys this. All right. Uh, I have a friend. She's amazing. And I'm going to visit her just this one time because I think she's moving back to Ontario. But I'm not going to tell you guys where exactly we're going. But I will just say that I'm going to Saskatchewan. I already have the confirmation, my bags are like halfway packed. The only thing I need is like electronics and stuff, even though I'm not going for like two more months. And I just wanna make sure I have everything because I think I have travel anxiety. And I don't know if anybody else has travel anxiety, but I think I do have it, but I just don't realize it. Like I'm in denial. And I'm just like, the airport is going to be a little overwhelming for me. And I'm taking a plane by myself again because I've done that before. It wasn't so bad, but I'm like, oh my god, the anxiety and the excitement. I'll be going to Saskatchewan. I don't know for how long. We'll be going to British Columbia, maybe Alberta. I don't, I don't know ex exactly what's happening. I don't know the exact plan, but the update is that I'm probably not going to be recording videos like this all the time. Maybe I'll create, like, I'll, I'll make, I'll record several things and then I'll stick it into one video, like a compilation, or I don't know how to video edit. I don't know any of that stuff. Like, I wanted to document this road trip and what's going to happen, and I'm so, <gasps> I'm trying not to, like, scream because I'm so excited. And, yeah, I'm just... It's stressful. I didn't know road trips and like this could be so stressful. Like I do know because I've been to Toronto even though it's a day trip, but this is like an overnight thing and I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm oh, ready. I'm ready. I just can't wait for time to fly by for me to be on the plane and to see my best friend again. It's going to be crazy, but worth it. Expensive. Oh my god. A lot of people don't know this. When you live on disability, you get very little money and you're not very rich. And a lot of people think, oh, you, you live on disability. You got to be rich and, you know, you get to do whatever you want. You get to do this and that. Like, you get to go on these vacations. This is not a vacation. Like, Saskatchewan is mostly farmland. And it's beautiful. Canada's a beautiful country, but I, I don't know. I... Don't know what else to say. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling awkward now, but I'm excited for this because this is going to be a huge, huge thing. And I'm not going to be going to Toronto this year. And I'm really sad about that, but that's okay. Maybe I'll go for a day trip. I have my gift card that I got from Starbucks. I could literally go to Toronto and just walk around and not do anything. My, my passport money covers my train tickets. Passport money is something that people on disability get if they are with community living, which is who I'm with. That's all I gotta say. I don't know what else I have to say. Those are the only things I want to talk about. And yeah, sometimes I forget what we're talking about even though I'm making this video for you. And I'm just like, what else do I have to say? And thank God for the description box. I can just put whatever I forgot to say. And if you guys want to know more about fetal alcohol syndrome, don't want, like don't worry, I will talk about it every now and then. 
which I'm probably going to be talking about it a lot this month because I don't know how May is going to work. I will be having videos until on Tuesdays and Fridays until May uh, until April 19th and then I'm going to start again on May 3rd my last video before this big vacation I'm going to call it that is going to be May 24th I'm going f away for a while so that's what the topic's going to be maybe I might change the name for that okay I don't have anything else to say so please continue to subscribe like this video, comment down below, turn on the bell for notifications. My social media links will be down in the description box below, along with anything that I forgot to say. And I don't know how long I've been recording for. I tried to keep my videos around 10 minutes because last time I tried to record a video for about 20 minutes, it wasn't uploading. So yeah, I hope to see you guys next time because anything can happen. Peace.